uh, you will have to visit to complete the tour finally and L which is the intersection of P and M assuming these three numbers and K is also there can you tell uh, can you tell how to solve basically this with this information you can solve the problem correct I mean even without knowing how to solve the problem you can know that if you apply some method you can solve the problem with these three given these three sets or given these two sets and you can find this set so how will you do it now so in terms of please explain in terms of M, L, P and K you are at the profile of some person I agreed assume that this person I has M friends which is given by the set M so these are the set of all friends for I you are clear with M P is the set of all friends you have to visit from now to for you to have concluded that the tour is completed yeah so P denotes you will initially the person 0 will have a lot of friends but at each step you would be covering the profile of some friend so keep deleting the profile you have visited from the initial set and you will get the set P set P denotes these are the friends you will have to visit from now on but all of these friends need not be present in this guy's profile so the friends you can visit from this guy's profile is M intersection P correct so assume this is equal to L and you are obviously given K in the question so are you clear that even not knowing how to solve the problem we can solve we must be logically able to solve the problem with this state basically this gives a perfect state ok so the first step as she as she suggested in this is take the set L surely you want to go to only one of the friends in this set so you basically have to define a preference order in this set for example preference order is a permutation of these L, uh, L friends say it is order is a permutation of these L friends which denotes that so assuming the assume the set L consists of say 1, 3, 5 and 6 the order you will define something to be 6, 3, 1 and 5 say this means that if the profiles of both 6 and 1 are visible you will take the one which comes to the leftmost in this array you can basically define an order like this right that is how will you define this order try each possible elements from this set so try 1, 3, 5 and 6 get the probability of finishing for each of them sort them in descending order and that will give you this set so once you have this order you will know that what, so what can you say with, with this order if 6 is present if 6 is displayed then you will surely choose 6 correct so uh, what is the probability that 6 is being displayed what he is telling is what is the probability for the question what is the probability of choosing 6 is so assume first that this uh, m is greater than k m, m, so assume m is greater than k otherwise it is trivial everything will be selected so you can select any one of them uh, you, that means you can the probability of selecting 6 is 1 so assume m is greater than k then the probability that 6 is being displayed is basically he told a complex formula actually it is just k by m or ok if his formula his formula is m minus 1 choose k minus 1 that is this is the pro, this is the probability that 6 is not selected is m minus 1 c k minus 1 correct out of the remaining m minus 1 elements choose k minus 1 of them by m choose k 1 minus this yeah the numerator tells ok so you will select 6 here so out of the remaining m minus elements k minus 1 you have to select so the numerator tells in how many elements 6 is being selected so it is m minus 1 choose k minus 1 by the total is m choose k on cancel instance you will get k by m I mean k by m is fairly logical saying that each of them have a 
each of them have equal probability of being in this so k by m so out of the out of m elements k will be selected so each of them being selected has k by m so the probability of k by m you will choose 6 so so first with probability k by m you will go to 6 so with in a probability of 1 minus k by m you don't have you, you don't have 6 in this set so in which case what will you do you will select the next element 3 so when selecting this 3 so assuming the assume that the current probability is car p so current probability initially is 1 so at each step you have uh, say m okay you have left elements so assume at each step you have left elements so what can you formalize this more this will be equal to okay this will be equal to k by left i'll explain how if 6 is not there so you have no k k slots of which but you have only m minus 1 slot you, you have only m minus 1 friends correct because with this probability 6 will be there so if with this probability you will surely go to 6 so assume with the probability that is you can say that with the probability 1 minus k by m 6 won't be there so what is in this problem what is the probability that 3 is there k by m minus 1 so basically if you have left to say that uh, left let left denote the number of elements active so the probability at each step is k by left and you will decrement left in each iteration of the loop so basically to formalize the idea that is have everyone got an idea of how you will solve this i formalize this so okay so what will you do at a state the state is a bit mass comma index so in that state consider all the friends you visited go to each of those states compute the probabilities sort the probabilities in descending order the probability of so your answer will be so basically you will return k by m into probability of choosing 6 so it's k by m into probability of choosing 6 plus 1 minus k by m so that it comes to the next iteration of the loop into uh, k by m minus 1 into probability of choosing 3 plus 1 minus k by m into 1 minus k by m minus 1 into k by m minus 2 into probability of choosing 1 plus so on will be the answer of course i am assuming that m is much greater than k if at any step m equal to k then that probability will be 1 and you can stop there um, among so is this your question are you telling that among the profiles which are displayed among the friends where you can go to you toss a coin and go to some yeah. that is you want to choose yeah. all the friends with equal probability so in that case you have no decision to make so it's like what it is fully random you have no decision to make correct what is the probability to complete the two okay it's not maximizing yeah instead of maximizing yeah what is the probability to complete the tour i'm not even sure whether you can solve it without enumerating all m choose k or let's get back to this representation assume you have m friends uh, so assume the same uh, notions for m p and l so this means that among all the possible combinations the probability of anything being selected is the same I mean, out of the m, m choose k, and in that also, you even randomly picking, after all this, the probability is going to be the same. Yeah. So it's just 1 by p, 1 by l. But I'm not sure because there, in some cases, the profile will have nothing, in which case you will have to go to 0. This is 1 by l, assuming that. Uh, at least one friend's profile uh, will appear in the m choose k so you you may have to subtract the cases where not even one profile occurs 
with the value of which is going to be m minus l choose k by m choose k so this is the probability in which not even one of the profiles occur so with this probability you will go to zero i mean in these many cases you have a zero probability of finishing so m minus l choose k by m choose k is into zero so basically you don't need you can exclude the term so let current probability equal to 1 minus m minus l choose k by m choose k okay so yeah this is the probability that at least one of the profiles are being displayed we know that if at least one of the profiles is being displayed and inside that another random so we have two random events basically out of the m choosing some uh, some k profiles to be displayed and out of the profiles to be displayed uh, choosing one of the profiles to be displayed so you can think you can think of it as there are two random events for instead of taking the two random events you can also have them as one random event and the probability of any profile being chosen is just 1 by l so this karpi into so let this be karpi karpi into 1 by l is the probability of choosing any of the profiles so so uh, the solution will modify to be ret equal to compute this karpi as 1 minus m minus l c k by m c k so ret will be equal to karpi by l into summation of probability of all choices so okay i'll explain again the question the modified question he asked is assume that you do not have the choice over which friend you are going to choose but that is also so assume that uh, okay mpl assume that say uh, q profiles are displayed at a time there is a 1 by q probability of going to each of the profiles also so before we had the leverage to choose any profile we want to now that is also given by 1 by q so in that case you you won't have any maximizing or minimizing so because it is because there's only one you don't have any choice in your hands everything is left to random events so there is no question of maximizing or minimizing so in that case he is asking what is the probability of completing the tour so the answer for that will be with the probability of m minus l c k by m c k you will have no you will have zero of your friends in this profile correct with the probability of m minus l c k by m c k so with this probability it is it is a zero probability of with this probability it is a zero probability of completing the row so let so with the probability of 1 minus m minus l c k by m c k at least one of the profiles are being displayed so of these you will choose a random profile being displayed but you can easily see that among all the profiles being displayed and among all the choices you make inside the profile the probability of choosing any pro profile is equal so and uh, so you can basically assume that the probability is cut p by l because the profiles are not different in any way so the summation so you basically have the probability of choosing any profile all the profiles are equal and summation of all the profiles is equal to karpi so each of them is current probability by l so it is current probability by l into sigma of uh, into sigma of uh, that is you go to the next state uh, okay the problem asks uh, problem statement is given to strings x and y where x length of x is up to 10000 and length of y is up to 1000 what are the minimum deletions you must do in x such that y does not y is not a substring of x uh, so uh, can anyone come up with a polynomial solution to this an obvious exponential solution would be 2 power n 2 power mod x and 2 power mod x into uh, mod x that is for every subsequence of x just check whether uh, y exists in that 2 power mod x into mod x assuming you use kmp otherwise, otherwise it plus okay to power mod x into mod x into mod y but can anyone come up with a polynomial solution to this any any complexity that is it need not solve with under under the constraints that is if you are given a problem like this the first thing you notice is that complexity might probably be mod x into mod y it could it that is it should not 